Ballard, do you think at all as an Alabama fan that uh, you've got much to worry about in week one against Miami? Oh, absolutely. I've been saying that. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, this season I kind of make jokes like I'll mess around because I know you got a lot of, uh, and, and I love all the people you get on, you know, the Scoop on the U people, Wholesome Holloway, you know, all the Miami people. They're great people. But, you know, they're off, they're a great program too. But, man, it just seems like, you know, this might be the year, this might be the year. Listen, if they beat Alabama week one, which I know a lot of people, here, here's my problem, is a lot of people are saying Bama's just going to blow through them. And as a Bama fan, I'd like to see that. But I feel like Miami's not getting enough credit. I really think that they're going to be a good team this year. And especially if they pull an upset week one, um, just the ima- I mean, they could uh, imagine what they could do from there. Um, but I- am I worried about Miami? Of course, you know. I, you know, this isn't like when we played Duke a few years ago. This isn't like you know uh, a week two game against the FCS school. This is against a. I don't, I don't know if I want to say Miami's top ten. I, I guess they kind of are top ten, top fifteen type of team. Uh, whether they're ranked there or not, I still view them nationally uh, like that. So, yeah, I'm a little worried. <laughs> yeah, and I think but we're all anxious confident. to see uh, Bryce Young and, and see what uh, mm-hmm. what he can do in his first start. Yeah, and especially under a new coordinator with um, uh, Bill O'Brien coming in. No, uh, just keep up all the great content you guys do. Uh I've been sharing it out on the social media a few times, and uh, I'm just I'm ready for the season, man. Roll Tide. I appreciate the support, Ballard. You have a good night. Thanks for the call. Keep in mind that Nick Saban, since he arrived in 2007, let's pick it up from 2008. I don't know exactly who Alabama played that first season in 2007 as a non-conference game, but basically Saban has taken on uh, – Top flight programs across the board in neutral site games, except for a Penn State home and home series in 2010 and 2011, in which Alabama took care of Penn State by two to three scores each one of those games, 27 to 11, and uh, I think 24 to three. All the other games have been neutral site games played in Atlanta or played in Houston or played in Dallas. And Alabama has not been threatened at all. I would say Wisconsin may have played them the best. I think that game was 21-17 sometime in the third quarter, but Alabama kicked it into gear and blew them out uh, 35-17. That was in 2015. Uh, The Florida State game, if you watched the game, you could see the Florida State athletically uh, could basically match up with Alabama, but of course, DeAndre Francois was lost uh, when it was a 10-7 game. And uh, Alabama took it from there, twenty-four to seven. Those were probably the two games. Also, West Virginia actually, uh, with Clint Trickett at quarterback in twenty fourteen, put up a pretty good fight and threw for a ton of yardage. Uh, Clint Trickett threw for over five hundred yards in that game against Alabama. Uh, I believe that game was played in Atlanta and put a scare in the tide. Uh, something like thirty-five twenty-six. You could check my score on there, but uh, Alabama's beaten Clemson, Virginia Tech, Wisconsin, Michigan, Florida State, Duke, Louisville, USC, West Virginia, on and on the teams that they've beaten. They're 9-0 in those neutral site games to open the season. All right. 